Hi, I'm Bob Allison with Shop Saber CNC. Around here, they call me Router Bob. In this video, we're going to cut the same part from four different materials on a Shop Saber Sidekick CNC plasma. This should be great. Plasma is a fourth state of matter, so you have solid, liquid, gas, and plasma. When you turn a light switch on and you see a spark in there, that's plasma. When you see a lightning bolt, that's plasma. It's 44,000 degrees Fahrenheit and it melts uh, metals instantaneously, so that's what we're using as our cutting tool. Now, the plasma we use is generated by the hypertherm power supply, and the size of the power supply determines how thick a metal that you can cut, so that's how you select the power supply. Then that plasma is shaped into uh, what's really a cylindrical cutting tool and that's done by the nozzles and that's done by the compressed air. And so that creates a curve just like a router bit or a mill would create a curve. So somewhere we have to allow for that in the geometry and that's done in our ProNest software automatically when we select the material. Here's ProNest LT and I've created the job and the material is 18 by 18 and the material is actually uh, mild steel 10 gauge so so remember what that's done is that's basically determining what the curve's going to be it's determining feeds and speeds and all that stuff all the things that are specific to that material for plasma are set because they're all based on information in the spreadsheet in the software so that's done we've also talked about what, how we're going to cut it on the machine and we won't change the leads on it all right now, let's talk about where that part came from, and, and sometimes you draw things from scratch, but, but there's actually a parametric wizard here. That's what VSP, variable shape part. Here's how I made that part. I clicked on it, and you see this lets you change the sizes. So as you change dimensions in here, it redraws it, so it creates a really nice part for you. See how that made that get bigger? And so you take any of those shapes and you can actually create that in whatever size you want, and you can also add uh, operations to it. That's where my part came from. So we'll go back to here. So all I have to do is drag this part out here, and I'll roughly center it. And that's what it looks like, all right? Now, there's a lead in here and a lead in there. So let's go simulation and we'll play it. And that's what's gonna happen on the machine. Okay, so all I have to do is output the code. And we, that, now we have a program ready uh, for that, cutting it out of that material. We could actually go out to the machine and cut our part right now, but I want to introduce you to another concept, and it has to do with the origin. So the machine has an origin that we set, and each part has an origin. But in this application, I want to cut the same part of four different materials on the machine in a single setup. This is a view of the machine control. Now this area right here is actually the table, and our machine is a four by eight. All right, so this is, this is at the machine's home position right here. Uh, now, what I want to do on here, though, is I want to create four additional positions. So one, two, three, four. And I want to do that because I want to be able to call those. So, so I can take the same drawing with the origin at the corner and put it anywhere I want on the table. So let's start by doing this. Let's jog over. And we'll jog up a little bit. All right, now, what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to select H1. And I'm going to say edit, and I'm going to say get the position, and OK. So what it did, it saved it saved that position as X as H1. Okay, let's do this. Let's go over here. Oops, it's a little too far. All right, now I want to select H2. Hit edit. Okay, get position means get the current X or Y coordinates. All right, that just assigned that. Okay, let's go down here. This will actually be four. So we'll say H3, or rather H4, edit, get position. 
and finally come back over here and we'll assign it, we'll call that H3, edit, get positions, hit OK. All right, so that looks pretty good. So now, how do we go to one? If I if I type in x zero y zero, it goes back to the where we started. All right, so so let's type in go h one and see what happens. All right, so that becomes that. So that's x one y one for for that. Let's type in go h two. Now it goes to the. the that next picture, and you see when it brings that uh, those cursors over, that sets the origins of that corner. Now let's type in go H3. And finally, let's type in go H4. All right, so what we've done is we basically allowed ourselves to position four different parts at four different locations and, and without changing anything about the origin on the drawing. While we're on the machine control, let's look at one more thing. You remember when in ProNest LT, when we basically selected a material that dictated everything about the tool paths, the leads, feed rates, and all that. Well, what if you don't have ProNest LT and you have a plasma? Well, we built that into the control also. So let's say I open that file up and then I would come over here and select off whatever the material was. So there's 10 gauge. And then when I execute that program, that automatically applies those cutting characteristics that we were getting out of ProNest. So it's a great feature built into the control. All we need now are the other three files of the other three materials. So here's how you do that. We select the material. Okay, this time let's go to the 16 gauge mile steel, which is about point six. will be good. We'll hit OK. Now this comes up, I'm going to reapply the leads and nested parts. And now we've created a program for this, for different material. And we run that. Here's what the simulation is going to be. What it did, it went in and changed the, the offsets and the leads based on the different requirements for that material. I didn't change the drawing, I just changed the material definition. All right? We'll close that. Now once again, let's do the same thing. Let's change material this time. And let's go with the stainless steel. So that's SS. And that stainless is 40 thousandths. There we go. Okay. Reapply it. Now we've got that. Let's validate it with simulation. Once again, that looks correct. All right. We're happy with that. We'd output. That gives us our program. And finally, let's do the final change. So. Let's select that. This time, let's make it out of aluminum. So we'll go with aluminum. Point one two five. Hit OK. Let's simulate it. And that looks good. And finally, we would output. All right, so that's all that's required. So we took one drawing and by simply changing the material definitions, created four programs based on the machining specifics of each of those materials. Now, let's go visually validate what we've done at the machine.
quite enjoyed the video. Our parts came out really great, thanks to the built-in parameters in ProNest. The edges were very consistent. We had minimal dross, and when we stacked the parts on top of each other, they were all the same size, even though they were different materials. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you need more information, you can contact us at shopsaver.com. Thank you for watching.